Hi everyone, this is Mayur Karthik, faculty with Shishi School of Yoga. In today's video, we are going to be looking into how yoga can help you alleviate back pain, especially lower back pain. Before we move on with the video, make sure to subscribe to this channel. If you have any specific medical condition, I would recommend you to check with the doctor before you start with the practice. When it comes to back pain, one of the main reasons for it is bad posture held for a long time especially while sitting and standing. So the practice today is focused on fixing the posture a bit and also to release the tension on those stiff muscles around the back region. Also remember, if you want good results, you need to integrate yoga as a holistic practice regularly in your lifestyle. Let's get started. First, let's do some warm-ups. Start jogging wherever you are. Take your hands up and shake your hands it's very important to move the body. You know, it is said that sitting is the new smoking. You heard about it? Yes. So we have to bring movement to the body. A little bit of twist. And relax. Now move the legs a little away from each other. Hold your hips. Let's do some head rotation. Clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise direction. Keep a gentle smile on your face. When you smile, the whole body relaxes. And let go. Now the arm rotation. Both the arms together. Front to back, along with your breath. Reverse. Keep a smile on your face. And let go. Now let's do some twists. Left and right. Now let's do some bends. You can move the legs a little wider and bend to the right and left. And relax. Now let's do some hip rotation. Hip also accumulates a lot of stress because of bad posture. Rotation will really help it to readjust itself. Reverse. Do as much as your body allows you to do. That's very important. At the same time, put a little bit of extra effort to come out of your comfort zone. And relax. Now let's do some forward backward bends. Push down from your hips like a spring. Up, down, up, down. Up and back. Down. Up and back. Down. Up and back. And relax. Now let's go down on the knees. To our favorite cat pose. Come on the knees. Knee below your hip. Palms below your shoulders beautiful stretch to release lower back tension look up lift your tailbone up push your navel down inhale exhale arch your upper back towards the ceiling chin to the chest contract your tummy squeeze your inner thighs inhale look up Tailbone up, navel push down. Exhale, arch your upper back, chin to the chest. Squeeze your tummy. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. And down. Relax. Now. Holding in the cat pose, now as you breathe in, lift your right knee up, right foot towards the ceiling and look up, push your chest down. Now remember, don't move the right leg towards the left, that happens because the hip is lifting up, right hip, push the right hip down a little bit, 90 degree at the knee joint, stay here. 
exhale see if you can bring the nose to the knee inhale once again right leg goes up exhale nose to the knee one more time right leg up this helps to strengthen your lower back exhale come down and let go now the other leg left leg goes up remember the knee is bent 90 degrees at the knee joint exhale nose to the knee left leg goes up and nose to the knee one last time left leg goes up exhale nose to the knee and gently come down into child's pose sit down on your heels stretch your hands to the front stay here for a moment and slowly come up and let's sit down now stretch both your legs to the front breathe in take both your arms up pull your feet in towards you and as you breathe out lengthening your spine see if you can grab your toes stay here keep breathing pull yourself little deeper pull the tummy in keep your back straight as much as you can if you're not able to hold the toes hold your ankles or your calf muscles absolutely fine stay here pull yourself little to the front keep breathing relax into the posture drop your head down little bit inhale slowly come back up exhale relax your hands now twist your body to the right side right hand place behind you look behind you feel a deep twist in your middle and your upper spine make sure you are not keeping the hand too far away right hand is little closer so that the spine is erect keep breathing now to the other side left side and relax now let's lie down on our tummy lying down on the tummy make a fist with both the hands tuck it under your groin chin to the floor bring the legs close to each other and gently lift the legs up shalabhasana keep the knees straight as much as possible and gently bring the legs down take the hands out bring your hands under your shoulders elbows close to each other breathe in look up come up one vertebrae at a time into bhujangasana cobra pose roll your shoulders to the back move your elbows towards each other and look up keep breathing keep the legs a little close to each other and as you exhale slowly come down let's roll over to the back hands next to the body bend both your knees bring your heels close to your hips the middle finger is just touching your heel toes facing to the front distance between your feet hip width distance inhale gently lift your hips up setu bandhasana or the bridge pose stay here keep breathing
Now gently sway your hips to the left and right. And come back to the center and slowly drop your hips down, pull your knees towards your thighs, wrap your arms around your legs, interlock your fingers, pull them deep into your chest, lift your head up, bring your nose in between the knees. Gently drop your head down. If you wish to, you may roll your body left and right. And rock it front and back, giving your back a nice massage. And stretch your legs out. Let's do the Natrajasan. Stretch your hands to the sides. Bend your right knee, place your right foot on the left knee and with the support of your left hand, gently pull your low body towards the left side. Make sure your right shoulder is not lifting up. Turn and look towards your right palm. Stay here, keep breathing. Back to the center, straighten the leg out, and out to the other side. Roll back to the center and bring your hands next to the body. Relax here for some time. You may continue to lie down and rest for a while or you may continue with the meditation with Gurudev, the link for which is given down in the description. I hope your back is feeling released and relaxed. Do practice this regularly until you feel a consistent improvement in your condition. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and like, share and comment.